Um, I had tore my lat um, against Rice last year. It was on a, a TFL actually. I didn't really feel it until like halftime though. But um, I had got pulled out halfway through the game and had an MRI next day. The next day they said my um, my lat had. Uh, detached from the bone, so they had did that. But um, mentally, I just told myself I was going to stay positive about it, um, knowing that I had another opportunity to come back. So just staying mentally, went, uh, mentally strong about it and not letting myself, um, you know, get down and depressed about being out. Um, I overcame, uh, I took it as a, like a, um, just another challenge um, to make sure that I did everything that I was supposed to do this year. Um, so, and I just took it as, um, I, I, I've been through another, a season ending injury before. So I, I looked back at that and remember how I dealt with that and just made sure I stayed on top of everything I needed to do to get back to being 100%. So, you think that the coaching change coming off injury, that's kind of a weird situation. Yeah, it was a, it was a weird situation, um, but it was um, actually crazy because after the season, it was like a few, you know, schools hitting me up to, you know, asking did I want to transfer, but I had a meeting with, like, the coaching staff that was coming in, and was um, they actually recruited the defense coordinator, uh, Coach Wood, recruited me um, when I was leaving Ole Miss. He was at Troy then, so, and I was familiar with his scheme, so it, it was intriguing to me to stay knowing that I could, um, you know, make, make a lot of plays. Okay. What did you uh, you only had two games, but what are you working to improve on from last year from once you got uh, finished with your game? Uh for me more of my pa uh pass rush ability because um I feel like I'm 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 more of like a hybrid DN outside linebacker. So early on in my career, I was doing like a lot of more linebacker stuff. Um, so just that's one of the reasons I actually transferred to Houston um, to work, be able to um, be in a scheme that let me pass rush more because I was more of a scheme of I was more of a linebacker than a pass rusher. So just knowing like that I'm I'm a really good pass rusher and just coming to a place where I can show that. So that, that's what I say that. So, fans aren't really familiar with the term dog. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? Uh, dog is just um, the hybrid 3-4 um, linebacker DN. Um, the name is crazy. I like the name because I, I say I take that. Um, I take the name with, with you know what I'm saying. I, I use that. So everybody in the room, we say like we dog. We play like dogs. So I feel like it's fitting for our position. But that position right there is kind of. It's like you got to be a dog for that position because that position um, that they use is, is important in the defense. Um, like I said, we got we get used a lot of different ways, and so in that position you got a lot of chance to make a lot of plays. So you can become that dog. What, uh, what do you think of Oscar Jobs? Say what? What do you think of Oscar Jobs? Oh yeah, Coach OG. Um, I would say I like he got a lot of coaching experience. Um, I said we call him OG for his initial, but he, he really the OG. So he got a lot of experience. You know what I'm saying? He he um he he's been teaching me. I've been getting some film like when I'm in his um when I'm with the D line, I take some stuff and learn some stuff from him because um I say like, I know he he been a lot of different places. So I really pay attention to what he say because I know with all that knowledge I can learn a lot of things from him. So yeah, I like the OG. Give me a guy on the defense that's kind of under the radar. Fans don't know about him, but they should. Under the radar? Uh, there's actually a few. I feel like um, Jawan Gaston. Um, see, Noah Guzman. Um, I said really a lot. Why do you say Noah? Noah, um, technician, man. Like Noah, I, I never really seen uh, Noah like mess up, blow coverage. He's the guy like you want to start the drills because you're do it the right way. He, um, he just, I feel like he handled himself like a pro, and you know what I'm saying. So he's like the the model. You know what I'm saying. What you what you would want your uh, players to be. So.